All right, everyone, welcome back to the long dark. So I think this is going to make episode 20. So we've hit the big 2-0 in the interloper series. Um, so we are just picking up where we left off at the end of episode 19. I basically finished the water that I was boiling. I slept through the night and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, we're just uh, picking up here the next morning. So... I think what we'll do first is I'm just like really super tempted by that moose um, that's been over by Trapper. So I think we might head back that direction and see if we can run into him and, and start to maybe make some plans of, of taking him out. So uh, that's kind of what I've got planned for this episode. Of course, that's dependent on him actually being over there when we get over to, to Trapper's cabin. So um, we'll, we'll see how that plays out. But um, yeah, let's head that way at least. So not too bad of a day. Cold right away, but it's not. Uh, it's probably because it's so early in the morning that it's so cold. Do a quick look, see for any wolves. I don't see any. Sometimes there's some up here. We'll take a look though, obviously. Got this stick up here, and uh, I do just want to, as usual, say um, thanks for tuning in to the episode. I appreciate uh, you know the crowd that. Uh, tunes in day after day and checks out episode after episode i i appreciate your guys's support um i just i love you know getting on later in the day after i've you know posted a video or something and seeing your guys's reaction and you know suggestions and things it's just uh just really awesome so again uh thank you for doing that and and by all means continue to do so because it, it makes it a, a lot of fun for me um, and then on the flip side of that, if you are new to the channel and maybe checking out your first video here in the series, welcome in. Appreciate you being here just as much. Um, I'd invite you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you can uh, keep up to date with all of the new content that'll come out and have coming out in the future. And yeah, this is <laughs> this is kind of what we do here, the Red Cove. Get into some long dark. And I should have some more Green Hell content coming out here in the near future as well. Um, I have been playing it uh, and recording and everything. I just haven't uh, haven't gotten a release schedule for that quite worked out yet. So we'll get there. That's uh, that's your thing. Don't worry. There's more to come. I'm also thinking about uh, kicking off a series with Stranded Deep. Um, it's another one of my favorite kind of survival games, um, survival adventure open world games. Um, so that may be coming in the future. Not too certain yet, but um, <laughs> honestly, I just got to find some time to do all these things. All right, so we should be not too much farther away from getting back to Trappers, and we're getting cold, so I, uh, I'll probably pick up the pace here a little bit. And uh, we may just hang out. Oh, we built that snow shelter. I think it was the last episode to, to deal with our cabin fever. So we may hang out in there for a few and just kind of uh, hang out and uh, make sure we're kind of checking the box of being outdoors long enough to avoid getting cabin fever in the future. So just trying to keep uh, a decent little inventory on sticks so that if we needed to start a fire, we'd have something to burn. Um, I did make a ton of water, um, you know, at the end of the last episode, so I'm actually oops, actually carrying about two gallons of water right now. So I kind of debated with myself where to where to leave some of it, but, you know, we've, we've kind of almost... Uh, I'm going to have to bandage that if the moose is over here. I, I won't be able to take a shot with the sprained wrist. Um... But Trappers has kind of almost seemed to become our, like, de facto home base in some ways, so um, I'll probably leave some of my water here. Um, just uh, didn't really plan for that to be the case, but we keep uh, seem to keep coming back to it. Um, especially if we bag this moose, then, you know, we're going to have all the reason in the world to be over here for a little while. So I figured that the water would be best left, best left here, It'd probably get the, the best use here. 
Okay, so I didn't see him. I didn't get a real good look over there um, as we're coming in, but I didn't see him right away. So hopefully it's not something where he's going to be gone for quite a while now, because dang it, I want to I wanna bag him. <laughs> I want to get, uh, get all that meat and uh, all the guts and stuff, and we'll be able to make some, some cool stuff with the guts. And, um, you know, I feel like we should make the satchel... If we were to if if we were to get, to get him, um, make the satchel with his pelt, just because, uh, um, you know, the carry weight. But that that coat would sure be nice to have right now. It's obviously not the warmest coat um, out of the things you can craft, but um, it's definitely better than anything we've got on right now. So um, if he doesn't show up in another day or two, we'll probably have to think about moving on because there's just not a ton for me to eat over here. Is there any rabbits back here? Yeah, I don't see any. All right, well, let's get inside for a little bit. We'll drop off a little water here and let's see. So we got one cured hide. I think we have two total, but I don't remember. I don't remember where I left the other one, or if I'm just misremembering that. What's in here? Nothing. So those should all be cured. Those are cured. Um, yeah, I didn't quite get that water boiled all the way when we created it in whatever episode that was. Alright, so I'm going to leave some water, get some weight down. Let me just keep a gallon and drop the 0.85 or as close to it as we can get. And uh, just leave some of that behind and that way we'll have a little bit of a store here. Start kind of building up some resources. Okay, what else, what else am I carrying right now that we don't need? Got tons of food. I'd still like to ditch that heavy hammer <laughs> over by the forge, but I don't know how quickly we're going to be back over there. Probably not super quickly at all. Uh, some of my clothes aren't in the best shape uh, that they could be, so we might actually... Uh, let's go ahead and repair this real quick. And what else do we have that's not doing so hot? Um, I'm going to go ahead and repair this. It seems like a minor thing, but it's one of those things that I'm really not likely to find any kind of substitute for or even find another one. So I do want to keep that pretty healthy. Did I not? Didn't I just repair this? Was it really in that bad of shape or did it fail like right at the last second? I don't know. Let's go ahead and do it again. Maybe I just didn't get it and I thought I did. All right, so it's decent. So the other couple things are the socks and the dress shirt. I don't really want to repair the dress shirt. I'd really love to replace it. Obviously, that's going to mean we need to go search some more things. Because we've pretty much, I mean, we've searched all of Mystery Lake to this point. Um, and didn't, I mean, we found everything there is to find here. So, um... Yeah, I, I'm a little bit disappointed that, you know, we scrambled to get the bow ready to go and our moose is gone. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. And I don't I don't know his exact, like, path or anything either um, within Mystery. Like, obviously, for those few days he was around, he was just right out here in this opening in front of Trappers. I don't know if he, like, goes anywhere else or if that's really just, like, his only spawn point. I'm honestly just not sure. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll maybe peek over the top of this hill and see if we see him or anything else that might be worth taking out. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm motivated now. Oh, I need to, well, we'll wait to see something before we spend the bandage to wrap our wrist. Because, um, I mean, if we don't see anything to hunt, then um, I, won't, I won't worry about it. Although, it would be good to be able to defend ourselves with the bow now that we've got it. Okay, any sign of a moose over here? I'm not seeing anything, guys, so... Hmm. So I do think we will head towards Pleasant Valley next. It's like our next uh, kind of shopping spot, so to speak. Um, there's a ton of stuff to be looted there. Um, a lot of buildings and things that can be looted. The only thing that I really just don't like about Pleasant Valley is the weather. 
Um, because there's just, I mean, blizzard after blizzard there, so... I don't, I don't love that, that that's going to be the case when we're there. I'm, I'm not seeing a, a moose anywhere. I'm still looking for him, but I don't know if he actually travels anywhere. It's like sometimes, like, the bears and things will have, like, a range that they travel. Um, you know, they're, it's all relatively close, but, like, I thought maybe he might just walk over this hill, but I don't see him anywhere. Other thing I haven't seen is the bear that usually hangs out here. I wonder if he doesn't spawn an interloper. He might not. Um, okay, well, that's kind of a bummer. I'm just really looking forward to getting that done. Oh, should we try and get that deer? Problem is, is I need to heal my wrist really quick. That's... I only have two bandages left, so we're going to have to make a bandage here in the near future. Alright, so we should have a pretty good shot at him since we're up here. Awesome. That was like a headshot, guys. Alright, All right, don't kill ourselves coming down the hill. Cool, I'm stoked about that. That, uh, that couldn't have gone better. How about that shot, huh? Up the hill, down the hill, in the head. Cool. Alright, well, let's do what we can. Let's see. We're gonna get cold, though. I guess I could start a fire. Let's see what we can do. It, it's sunny out, so I should be able to use the magnifying glass. So let's place that. Yeah, 75%. I don't want to burn the birch bark. Yeah, let's do it. And then we'll try and harvest uh, some meat. <laughs> we set out for set out for a uh, moose and we uh, bagged a deer, but you know what? Um, need to find some place the to food's great. Cold. Um, we'll be able to cure the pelt and it uh, it won't go to waste. It was a uh, a kill of opportunity, I guess. Oppor opportunistic hunting. All right, let's add. Uh, let's go ahead and add the cold to that, and that'll get us. Let's see, so it's an hour and three quarters so all right let's go ahead and get this guy chopped up oh wow it's gonna take a long time well let's change tools hmm we could quarter him for now can I quarter? you can't quarter with your hands I guess that makes sense only two guts all right well let's focus on the meat right now for sure and I'll probably go ahead and quarter him um, I'm gonna need... Nope, our fire will last long enough. Yeah, let's go ahead and quarter him. Alright, so that way we get all the meat, and we don't necessarily have to carry it all over there at once either. That'll be the nice thing. Um, because I'm pretty heavy, so... Let's grab as much of it as we can for the first trip, though. And the... One's like in the fire. Gotta go. How heavy am I? 96. Yeah, I can't run, but... How much, uh... We got 42 minutes left, guys. Oh, but I... I, I quartered it all. I could maybe, uh, harvest one of them while we're staying in here. See how long it takes. I can barely walk with this much gear. So 5 pounds, 26 minutes. Take me an hour and 4 minutes with my hands. Let's go ahead and just use the knife and we'll... Oh no, we're probably not... I don't know. We probably won't have enough time to cook it. I was going to say let's have a celebratory meal, but <laughs> I don't think we're going to have time, so... Um, yeah, this is no good anymore. I'll go ahead and just take another one and walk back over to the cabin. Oh, I can actually... I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could just light your burned out torch. Yeah, we're super heavy. We may have to leave... Uh, oh, and it blew our our torch out. I think I've already got a torch, so that's why I'm going to leave that one. Um, well, if it's going to be this windy, I may leave a couple of these and come back for them. So that way we're not out here too long. I can get inside and warm up. Um, and then we'll come back to get those other couple sacks here in a couple minutes. Oh, that's nice. Um, I'm so glad we got that. That that gives us food for, you know, a few days, really. We can uh, get it cooked up and 
use it to kind of eat off of for the next few days and who knows maybe in those few days the moose will show up <laughs> we'll uh, back to back them still stoked we hit that shot because that was that's kind of one of my fears when we we do get around to hunting the mute the moose is that like he'll be extremely difficult to kill and i'm not going to have enough arrows because i only have the two arrows right now so honestly maybe a little bit uh wishful thinking that we'd be able to kill the moose i don't know unless we just get a perfect shot like we did on that deer but yeah Plus, it'll get us good experience, um, or, you know, we'll be able to level up our bow hunting with that kill. Alright, let's jump in here really quick. Were we... I kind of want to... I think this episode will be called a successful hunt, but I'm, in my head I'm kind of like, were we actually really hunting just then, or, like, did we just happen to see the deer? <laughs> um, okay, so actually I should have stopped outside and dumped off some of this stuff. Um... Oh well, that's okay. We'll go back out. Uh, let's drink some water, though. We're getting pretty thirsty. Honestly, that really worked out, too, because, like, right now it's too windy for a fire. So, like, we probably wouldn't have been able to start a fire. Um, how cold is it? I'm pretty warm right here. Um, the concern is that, like, uh, you know, this is going to take additional time. I guess, if you don't know, if you quarter, you know, your your kill, um, it will actually decay faster than it does if you were to, you know, cut up the individual pieces. So, um, I want to get it harvested past the, the quartering as, as quick as possible so it doesn't start to decay. And stump this... And then let's go get the rest of it. We're getting pretty tired though, so. We'll see um, what it's like when we get over there. Yeah, we're down on weight, but not terrible at this point. We're just starting to get down there. Ugh, I'm still I'm still juiced, guys. I'm, I'm excited. Um, that was a heck of a shot, I feel like. You guys get, uh, let me know in the comments, like, you know, an interloper, really any any of the the difficulties when you get a, a good kill like that. Um, guys, like, feel happy about it, excited. I know I am, because, I mean, just simply put, it, it buys you time. <laughs> it, it allows you to survive, which I guess is um, somewhat realistic, or really it is realistic, because that's how it would be. And uh, oh, okay. Keep running, rabbit. You take him as far as you can. Ah, that rabbit is man. He is giving that wolf a go. <laughs> um, uh, that was a concern that I had too. I didn't say it because I didn't know that it would actually happen. But pack is getting kind of heavy. Yeah. Um, one of our bags is gone. But that's okay. We we won't be greedy. We got plenty. Um, the wolf can have his share. Except it would have been a bad situation, um, and we, we we need to move on before he finishes up that rabbit, or he'll be heading for us. But um, it could have been a bad situation if that rabbit hadn't been there. I guess I could have shot at the wolf, too. Uh, and I guess maybe that actually would have been a better situation, because then we would have had uh, both chunks of meat to, to eat on. Obviously, the wolf meat, you have the risk of parasites, but as long as you kind of manage that, it's okay. But yeah, like I would have been trying to go get the rest of my meat and uh, he would have been there munching on it. Which would have been a bummer, but... Alright guys, well we should be eating good tonight. I'll probably need to grab a few more sticks. Um, I'd like to start a fire outdoors and not indoors, so that way we can use the magnifying glass. The only problem with that is that it's super windy right now. So it will be challenging to start a fire unless I do it on like, you know, the side of the cabin over here that's protected. My hands. Making sure that wolf's not tracking us over here.
All right, let's tuck in here, and I think we'll have enough time to get it harvested. It's just 26 minutes, so let's go ahead and shoot for it. We are obviously using the knife quite a bit, but it's okay. Yeah, we're going to be fine on warmth. So maybe we'll just leave it here for now. Oh, I'm going to get the guts, though. And maybe we won't eat it tonight. We'll wait till, uh, like, we'll eat one of the things that we have canned or whatever tonight. And uh, cook it tomorrow. Like, maybe tomorrow we will go find some wooden things that we need. And um, I wish, do I have any pots on me or did I leave both of them over it? Yeah, so all my pots are over it. I've got one in here that's got the water that's not completely boiled yet in trappers that I could make some additional water with, but I, I, I have two other pans or pots that are over at the, uh, um, oh, this thing's going downhill, um, over at camp office. So it'd be nice to have those additional couple cans, or, I'm just, not cans, pots. So I'm just warming up in here. I wonder if I could have harvested in here. Uh, it looks like I can har like I could harvest these arrows. So, look at that though, seventy three percent. I I had one hit with uh, that arrow, and it's already down to seventy three percent. Um, let's read for an hour. Oh, I'm too hungry. I always forget that every single time that you you can't be hungry to read. Which I guess makes sense. Not not really, but <laughs> um, I guess in the context of the game, that's fine. All right, so this puts us at three hours on that one. We got seven more. Um, can drop some of those cans. I don't need to be carrying three cans. Uh, oh, I do need to get that pelt and um, the guts inside. And I need to make some more bandages. And I really ought to start trying to find some more cloth too, because we're getting pretty low. Um, what time of day is it? Uh, it's kind of early, early night, I would call it maybe. So, what? Yeah, you're not that bad. You've been much worse. Let's uh, let's go see if we can track down any sticks up here, and then that'll be kind of the last thing we do in the day before we go to bed. I'm still a little. Cinty. <laughs> um, so I actually, I just don't know how close that wolf is now. That one that we saw just a little while ago. I hope he's not like right on the other side of this kind of formation, thinking about coming to get us. So we actually might just uh, head back, call it a night. We're we're pretty tired anyway, so It'll be okay. Guys, we got a deer. It's huge. Don't have to think about food for a couple days. Much more manageable than the moose would have been, too. Um, especially with that wolf in the vicinity. Um, I guess, though, that the, the moose, if we had managed to take him down right here in this opening, this clearing, he would have been a lot closer to Trapper, so like maybe we wouldn't have to have worried about the wolf so much. I don't know. Mm, you got plenty of rabbits over there too. I wonder if I should make some snares um, and start that process so like I can check my snares every few days and maybe we'll have a rabbit over there. Yeah, let's uh... Let's go inside. We'll leave the stuff that needs to be inside to cure inside. And then I may try and... I don't know. Do we need to sleep in the snow shelter? I don't think we really need to, but it might not be a bad idea. And I had forgotten. I guess that's probably where the, the bulk of our cloth went. Um, I forgot that we did that, so... That kind of explains where our why we don't have much cloth left at this point. So this one should be cured, yeah. And then these sh this should all be cured, really. So let's drop over here. The two new ones we got. Should pick these up and put them somewhere. What can I craft? I have three rabbit pelts. So let's check. 
So I have the gloves already, right? Yeah. So how many pelts is it to make the hat? I forget. It's, I think, four. Let's get hat. No, it's just three. Is the, the Oh, the gloves are four, and I've already got those made. So we could actually... Hmm. Uh, we might go ahead and do that. I think we will. So that way they don't go bad. How many guts does it take, though? That's a good question. Um, come back. It takes... Oh, only one. Alright, well, let's do that. Um, let's get that started. Ooh, that was not in good shape. 42%, so, yeah, we really needed to use these. Um, let's maybe do that for an hour tonight or so. What am I missing? The workbench. I'm at the workbench. I must not have hit, uh, like, selected it. Alright. So, let's do an hour to start. And then, once it gets dark, we'll just go to bed. We'll eat something, obviously, and then go to bed. Let's, let's burn the extra half hour. Okay. Um, man, we could probably go another one. Just try and get this bad boy done. Oh, but now it's going to make us do the full two. Um, and I don't want to do that right now, so uh, maybe we'll do that first thing in the morning. All right, so let's, well, let's eat first. What do we want to eat tonight? Oops. So this would give me 500, 300, 300. Let's eat the dog food. Appetizing as that sounds. Okay, and then let's chomp on a couple of these guys. So that was 500 plus 150, that's 650. Plus, this should put us at 800 calories. So it's plenty to sleep on. And drink the water. And let's, uh, yeah, let's go to sleep. Um, and we'll go ahead and call this an episode here. Um, I know it's kind of a, a quick one, but I uh, feel like we're at a good stopping point. So, um, as I said earlier, thanks for being here. Thanks for checking out the episode. If you're new and have not done so yet, I'd invite you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Just click that button in the right-hand corner. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one.